God bless you everyone. By the grace of God, I'm Sister Chantal Egbe. I have a message from the Lord to you. This message is titled, Why do bad things happen to good people? Why do bad things happen to good people? You are a good person. You are a kind person, a loving person. You do charity work. You help the needy. You help your neighbor. You sacrifice all your you have to satisfy people at your own detriment but yet they pay you with bad they gossip you they pay you with evil they gossip your name they mock at you they tell all sort of lies against you my brother my sister you have been asking god why me why is all this happening to me your case satan is on your case satan don't want you to rest satan is always fighting you spiritual battles you have lost your beloved ones lost your properties lost everything you have satan is fighting you no rest despite the fact that you're god fearing you love god you are living a righteous life you are living a holy life you are pleasing god and man but things are not moving for you your business is crumbling all type of diseases are on your body the devil is fighting you god is looking at all this happening to you god is not saying anything he's just watching you you have been asking him why me why is this happening to me but he doesn't answer you he's just there looking at you as you're suffering as you're going through trials and temptation persecution troubles problems in your life my sister the holy spirit have sent me to you my brother the holy spirit have sent me to tell you that this is happening for a reason my brother my sister the Holy Spirit wants to answer you today. God is answering your question today. Please gather here. Give me your ears. Listen to why all these are happening to you. This message is divided into three parts. The persecution you face from the world, from people in the world. It can be your family, it can be your friends, it can be your neighbors, your colleagues, your enemies. And then the second part is the one you face from Satan, the devil. The battles, the spiritual battles you are facing, all what Satan is fighting you. That is the second part of this message. The, the, the persecution from Satan, the troubles, the problems, the calamities, the atrocities from Satan then the third part of this message is from god god himself is punishing you god himself is there watching all these things are befalling you i want to explain to you why all this is happening to you why god is silenced why god is punishing you himself why god is just watching as you are suffering to begin with the persecution from the world the sufferings you face from the world from the people of the world you have to know the bible says in second timothy chapter 3 verse 12 says whoever wants to live a godly life in christ must be persecuted whoever wants to live a godly life in christ must be persecuted whenever you give your life to god you are a good person you follow god in truth and in spirit you follow jesus just know that you must be persecuted by the world carry your cross happily and follow jesus jesus said whoever does not carry his cross and follow me is not fit to be my disciple what is your cross is see is it torments from the people of the world what are you facing carry your cross happily and follow jesus if you don't carry your cross and follow jesus you are not fit to be his disciple in the book of john 15 18 to 20 jesus said if the world hates you know that he hated me first you are not part of the world that is why the world hates you i have chosen you out of the world that is why the world hates you jesus father said a servant is never greater than his master so that is why the world hates you if the world persecuted jesus your master just know that the world will persecute you as well if the world could crucify jesus spit on him nail him on the cross persecute him what of you his servants the world will also persecute you and do to you whatever they did to your master so when whenever people hate you mock at you maltreat you betray you do all sorts of evil things against your name just know that they did worse than that to jesus your master so my brother my sister whatever 
the world is doing to you today just know that they did that to jesus your master so my brother my sister i'm begging you today do not hate the people of the world whether your family members whether your neighbors whoever they are don't hate them pray for them bless them if they curse you carry your cross and follow jesus don't mind what they say about you it is part of the cross that jesus has given you to carry and follow him now we move to the persecution you face from satan the first one was the persecution from the world the people of the world now we move to the one you face from satan satan is on your case the mission of satan is to steal kill and destroy satan has no two mission is just to destroy you he has been condemned for life so he his purpose in this life is to carry you to hell he doesn't want to rot in hell alone he wants you to follow him to hell he wants your soul satan will do all sort of things but as a true believer you have to know that satan cannot kill you he cannot take away your soul without the consent of god satan cannot do anything but god can allow satan to maltreat you to torment you as he did to job in the bible job in the bible went through a lot but god allowed satan to do that to him because god wanted to test his faith want to test his faith as they said to no regal he has to pass through fire my brother my sister this fire you are passing through now god wants to know whether your love for him is real god is allowing satan to match it to so that we should know whether satan would match it to you until you give up on god whether you backslide just as satan was on the case of job in the bible we know the story of job in the bible he sees all his properties inflicted him with all sort of diseases killed his children did all sort of things oh, that is how satan is on your case now don't give up god is allowing this to happen to you because he wants to test your faith he wants to know if you love him as you claim or you will give up because of persecution you will give up on god because of all the problems that you are facing god wants to know if your love for him is real or it's just love in need and love not love indeed god is testing your faith my brother my sister whatever you're going through if you have lost your beloved one if you have lost your properties your business is not moving your properties have been seized your house has collapsed your plot has been taken away diseases all over your body you are inflicted with incurable diseases my brother my sister carry your cross and follow jesus god is watching you god wants to see what you will do are you going to backslide because of all these minor things what can separate you from the love of god can persecution take you away from the love of god can trouble take you away from the love of god why do you want to give up on god because of these small trials and temptation you're going through what can be compared what type of suffering are you going through that can be compared with the glory that is waiting for you in heaven be faithful to the end be faithful to the end don't give up on god my brother my sister i'm begging you in the name of jesus don't give up on god whatever you're going through the grace of god is sufficient for you you will not die you will not perish even if you die in this world even if you die in this world the grace of god will take you over to the other world in heaven you will live in heaven even if you die now you will go to heaven you will meet your god you will be happy forever it's better to suffer on earth here and follow jesus carry your cross and follow jesus then you make it in heaven that to enjoy in sin than satan to give you everything enjoyment here you die and go to hell what shall you profit if you gain the whole world and lose your soul my brother my sister i know you have heard this message and i know you are going to think over it i know you are going to change i know you will not ask god why me why me i know you know that god is testing your faith now we move to persecution from god himself god said in his word in the book of revelation 3:19, that whom i love i chasten whom i love i chasten the one i love i discipline the, our relationship with God is just like our relationship with our children or our relationship with our parents. If you tell your daughter, don't go to this dirty water, don't touch this thing, and your daughter go and touch, your child go and touch, goes into that dirty water, your little child in the house disobeys you and go to the dirty water, you told her that don't, she shouldn't go there. You will discipline her, you will beat her. If you tell her, your child in the house, don't touch this thing, you and your child goes and touch that thing you will beat that person you beat that your child you will discipline spare the rock and spoil the child that is our relationship with god whenever you are stubborn to god when god tells you do this thing you don't want to do it when god tells you don't do this thing and you go and do it god will discipline you god will punish you you can ask jonas in the bible he was swallowed by a fish because god sent him to preach the gospel to people to repent but jonas refused jonah was running away from god 
Jonas was afraid that those people were going to kill him. Jonas was afraid of man more than God. And God punished him by making him to spend three days and three nights in the belly of a fish. My brother, my sister, God has punished so many people in the Bible because of their stubbornness. If you are going astray, God will punish you to bring you on track. Today we have many rich people in churches today, but first they were trusting in their riches, they were trusting in their power, but God brought them back to him by doing something that is only him that can solve, by giving them a problem that is only him that can solve. He can strike you with a disease, he can make you to have an accident that is complicated, that is only him that can put you back on track. He's doing all that because he loves you, he wants to bring you back on track, you are lost, that is why God is punished you joseph was betrayed was sold to slavery by his brothers his own blood brothers just because god wanted to use that means to make him to become a governor so that he can save the land from famine and hunger my brother my sister you are going through that problem now there is a bigger project ahead that god wants to use you to accomplish there is a bigger plan god also allowed bad things to happen to you because he wants to remove bad people around you people who claim that they love you people that you put your trust in them instead of putting your trust in God. God will make sure that you are in a problem that you see the true colors of those people. They will run away from you. People that claim that they love you but when you fall in that problem they will run away. God wants to prepare you shift you from all those bad people those deceitful people. The Bible says the heart of man is wicked and deceitful. Who can know it? My brother, my sister, God is shifting those bad people that claim that they love you. That is why you are in that problem. God wants to remove those bad, those evil people away from you. God also allowed those troubles to happen to you, those problems to before you because he wants to reveal his power. He wants to reveal his power to the world. God wants to reveal his power to mankind. We can see in the story of uh, Lazarus, Lazarus who died prematurely, that caused Mary and Martha pains, sorrow. But what happened? God wanted to reveal his power. That is why Lazarus died so that he can be rose from dead by Jesus. That is why you go through some trials and temptation. That is why you go through that incurable disease. Because after some time, God can cure you and heal you. And his signs and wonders and miracles, his power can be seen by the way. Some people are born blind, lame, deaf. And after some time, they see, they hear, they walk. Because God used that situation to reveal his power to mankind. My brother, my sister, whatever you are going through, don't give up. Carry your cross and follow Jesus and you shall have your crown of life waiting for you. You shall have your garment of righteousness waiting for you. My brother, my sister, I know you have learned something from this message and I know as from today you will not worry because you know why all these things are happening to you. I want to thank you for the time you gave in listening to this message. I thank God for his grace that he gave us to listen to this message. Remain blessed. Jesus loves you now and forevermore. Bye bye. I'm Sister Chantal Egbe.